If you need any FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They're very reliable, no bands, and a super fast system, so you'll get your coins within an hour. Make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 at checkout to get a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get free coins on FIFA 21. So doing these methods could literally get you up to 600,000 coins for free so if this video does help you out at all make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe down below to the channel so we're going to get straight into it basically to get these free coins we will be playing division rivals so they've changed rivals this year where after your first five games you get placed in a division and there's basically divisional rewards so depending on how many wins you get obviously will depend which division you get placed into and then there are different rewards depending on each division placements you get so we're going to start off if you get all five wins you win all of them you will get placed in division two which gives you a reward of 124,000 coins if you get four wins it will give you division three which gives you 89,000 coins if you get free wins, I don't actually know the value. I think it's about 60,000 coins. If you get two wins, you get 44,000 coins. If you get one win, it's 29,000 coins. I think if you just draw a couple games and don't win any, you might get the Division 6 29,000 coins, or you might get something below around 20,000 coins. And if you lose every single game, you still get 10,000 coins. So I would recommend playing all the matches if you're good, just win win all five of them get 120,000 coins and then you might think that is it however you can repeat this process five times on your account so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go through my games the quickest way to actually do it if you just want the coins instantly right now you can actually quit the matches they give you the loss you can quit five games and then you still get the 10,000 coin reward so that's what I'm gonna do here you do need to make sure once you quit the game that it plays for a little bit. And if you do want to help out a fellow FIFA player, if you score an own goal, it will give him the win. Because if you just quit a nil-nil, he will have to replay the game. So we're in the game now. I just want to queue up a pause. I need to actually get the ball off of him. I might just let him score, to be honest. I'll, I'll be a nice guy and I'll give him the win if he can, if he can actually score. I'll score an own goal for him. So I'm going to give this guy a win. I'm, I'm being a nice guy. Drop a like down below. I'm giving someone a free win on Division Rivals, helping them make some more coins. And all you need to do is just forfeit the match, quit the game, and there you go. The game has been quit. So you need to repeat that process five times to finish your five placement games, and you will then be rewarded. So when this screen finally loads, you can see here one loss on my record. And I've played one of my placement games. You can see the blue square. So you need to play your five placement matches. And then you will be given your reward. So I'll be back with you guys. Once I've gone through my five games. And lost all of them. As you can see here. I have just finished my fifth game. We've got the solid five losses. Get placed in Division A. And I got my 10,000 coin reward. So now. Ideally you'd probably do this on your second account. But obviously play it on a main account as well. On Xbox, you might need Xbox Live Gold to play Rivals, but on G2A, you can buy a gold membership for a day for literally £1. So, if you need it online, just buy a day membership. It's like a one-day trial for £1. So, we've got the 10,000 coins on this account, and now you want to transfer it back to your main account. So, I want to do a note here. Transferring coins is against EA's terms of service. It can get you banned. However, there are safe ways to do it which I probably will do a full detailed video on of transferring coins. So you need to list up a card on your main account and then buy it on your second account. So I'm going to get a card listed up now on my main account and we'll be back when we buy it. So I've listed up a Gary Cahill for 10,000 coins. This is over to my main account. Press buy now and those coins have now been transferred. So a brief introduction of how to transfer coins safely. Pretty much if you only make one coin transfer per day, you should be safe so i've done the 10,000 coins from this account to my main account now i will not transfer any other coins to my main account until there's been more than 24 hours because pretty much if it's just like one card being bought ea won't it won't get flagged up because it could have just been like a misclick somebody mistakenly bought a card i wouldn't recommend doing bronze cards either and ideally 
if you d you don't really want to list it for 10,000 coins, like if you lower the maximum price, say you do 8,000 coins, that can be better. But if you do one transfer a day, you should be safe. I'm like 99% sure. So once we've done that, you want to go over to these three dots and press delete club. So this will delete your entire FIFA club on this account. Make sure you don't do this on your main account, obviously. You want to be doing this on your second account. 8357, we'll put in the code and confirm delete. So now my club has been deleted. I'm going to leave Ultimate Team. Then I'm going to load up Ultimate Team again as if I'm a brand new player. And we can repeat this process. That is the best part of it. Imagine you just won your five division rival placement matches. You got given 124,000 coins. You just deleted your club and you can repeat the process again and get another 120,000 coins. Or if you're lazy and just want to quit the games, you can just get a quick 10,000 coins. It does not take very long at all. Here's where I need to add a loan player. You have to go through the setup of like a new club, which does take a little bit of time, but not really that long. You pick a kit, you pick your other kit, pick your badge, and then you'll be back into Ultimate Team on your brand and new account. Yep, I know how to play. Take me to the main menu. Here you can see my brand new club. I can press play. I can go back onto Division Rivals and repeat the process again. Get given the reward again and transfer the coins over to my main account. What I would say, again, do one transfer per day onto your main account just to be safe. And if I go to Delete Club, you can see I have three or more club creations remaining. So I've got this account I can do and then I can do it three or more times. I believe if you do get a new account, you can do more club creations. However, there is actually a console cap, which is so somewhat hidden, but apparently you can have seven club creations per console, no matter without number of accounts. Apparently it's seven per console, but that does refresh every 45 days. So pretty much once a month, you can do it seven times, get 70k for free through a couple accounts if you just quit all the games, or if you good at FIFA and can win them, you can get like 700k. So it's pretty crazy. I feel like EA may switch it where if you delete your club, you don't get the rewards because people will probably abuse this. But there you go. That's how you get free coins. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe down below. It's literally 80% of you watching this video are not subscribed. So it'd mean the world if you could help me out. Slap the subscribe button. But thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video.